They're under Sauter's orders. They're off. And Topsham Bay, one of those fast to break. That's racing on the outside with a double silk. Just so on the inside and Rust Never Sleeps and Mini Homer. They're all away to a good start. And Aquinas is already the back marker. And it's Double Silk and Rust Never Sleeps and Mini Homer who are racing wire. Garrison Savannah just so and uh, on the inside, 4th of July going the shortest way. Zeta's Lad on the inside, Fiddler's Pike is out wide. Moorcroft Boys on the wide outside as they come to take the first. And it's Double Silk who leapt over in the lead. And Double Silk the leader at the rear of the field. Uh, Gay Ruffian made a mistake and Henry Mann has gone at the first. And they head down towards the second. And uh, on the outside, Moorcroft Boy and Moorcroft Boy on the outside and Garrison Savannah on the inside and Quirinus is the back marker and they head down towards the third. And Elfast was also a faller earlier on, heading towards the next now, Riverside Boy on the outside, Double Silk, Young Hustler very handy, then Garrison Savannah towards the inside, Usher's Island unseated the rider there, on towards another now, this is number four, and up front, Riverside Boy, Mark Richards the leader, just from Double Silk, then Young Hustler, Paco's boy is prominent, then uh, Mini Homer and Garrison Savannah into the red towards the inside. The fellow is very handy, so is Topsham Bay as they run down towards the one before Beaches. Riverside boy just led uh, going into that one, but a great jump by Double Silk. Topsham Bay made a mistake there. Well down at this stage is Zeta's lad, and Quirinus is completely tailed off. They run down towards Beaches Brook, and it's Double Silk in the centre. Riverside boy the outside. Followed by uh, on the inner Garrison Savannah. Young Hustler is very handy. Then in behind those is Mini Homer. Uh, Paco's boy next. Uh, New Mill House was a faller at Beaches Brook. So was It's a Cracker, I think, there. Uh, Quirinus only just got over it. Over the one after Beaches. Double Silk, the leader, jumping like a buck. In second is Garrison Savannah. Then Young Hustler. Riverside boy is still very handy behind those. Gay Ruffian was a faller back in the field as they go towards the canal turn. Double Silk out in front, Garrison Savannah the inside of Young Hustler and Riverside Boy as they take it. Good jumps by the leaders there. In behind them the fellow, then Mine Homer streaming back in the field and uh, all just about clearing it. Rock to Prince was just about the last over. Here's Valentine's Brook and Double Silk the leader. Garrison Savannah, Young Hustler, Riverside Boy. Mine Homer is hunting them up. In behind those, Black Humor is uh, not too far away. Ebony Jane still in the race as well. Topsham Bay, the outside. Master Oates is very prominent as they jump another. And it was Double Silk out in front from Garrison Savannah towards the inside. Just so uh, amongst the back markers at the moment with Mr. Red. They're only just clearing it. On towards the next then. Riverside Boy, Double Silk, Garrison Savannah. Those are the leaders. And Young Hustler was a faller there. Uh, the fellow's travelling well. Ebony Jane starts to make ground. Zeta's Ladden just so are the back markers. Looks as if Rust Never Sleeps is going to be pulled up. Quirinus tailed off. But as they come down towards the uh, next plane fence, over on the inside, Garrison Savannah. Down the centre of the track, it's Double Silk. On the outside, Riverside Boy. These are attended by the fellow who's racing four. Mini home of five. And then just behind these on the inside, Ebony Jane. Then behind Ebony Jane is Romany King. And also Master Oates in a prominent position. And then behind those, the trailers include Rock de Prince. But it's Double Silk with Riverside Boy on the outside as they make this very long run down. Two more fences to take before they have to come and take the chair. And it's Riverside Boy leading. Garrison Savannah the inside and Double Silk. Two lengths back to Mini Homer. Then Emily Jane and Master Oates and the fellow. Followed through by, uh, on the inside, Black Humour. Out wide is Topsham Bay. Then comes the favourite Moorcroft boy racing mid-division. Zeta's lad follows him. Fiddler's Pike still going. On the outside, out of trouble. Just so starts to pick up. Here they come down to what will be two out next time round. And Double Silk is a faller. Double Silk is a faller. Topsham Bay has gone. Master Oates has gone. And also Mr. Red made a very bad mistake. At the rear of the field, Mr. Boston has gone. So they come down towards the one before the chair. And on the inside, it's uh, Garrison Savannah from Mini Homer. And the fellow is absolutely cruising on the outside. They're the leading three. Four lengths back to Black Humor. Then Rust Never Sleeps. Run for free. Followed through by Channels Gaten into the red. And down they come to the chair. And as they come to it, it's Riverside Boy who leads. Riverside Boy, the leader, from Garrison Savannah, Mini Homer, and the fellow going like a good one. Uh, Black Humor was a fall up. They come down towards the water jump. And it's Riverside Boy, the stand side of Garrison Savannah. Then comes Mini Homer, the fellow, and Emily Jane. These are clear of Norcroft Boy who's out of trouble. Then Rust Never Sleeps and Run for Free, followed by Into the Red and Channel's Gate. 
These are followed by Paco's boy, Zeta's lad, Fiddler's Pike, doing his own thing. Then just so, Rock the Brass, Mr. Ed and Tailed Off, is he who dares wins. And they've gone a circuit, and there are not many left. And it's Garrison, Savannah and Riverside Boy who's hanging out badly. He doesn't want to go round again. But his stable companion, Minnie Homer, leads the way now. Minnie Homer, Garrison, Savannah from Ebony Jane and the fellow going well. Moorcroft Boy and Riverside Boy is running virtually right off the track. Behind these comes Rust Never Sleeps and then uh, Run For Free. And they head away down towards fence. Uh, number 17 and they away they go with Garrison Savannah the inside of Minnie Homer and Ebony Jane and the fellow with Moorcroft boy they're the big players Riverside boy is plowing his lone furrow on the very wide outside of the pack and uh, at that point Garrison Savannah has gone they race away to the next plane fence and it's Minnie Homer on the inside Minnie Homer who just has it from the Ebony Jane and the fellow and behind these Rust never sleeps and Riverside Boy has gone, he refused going into it. Mini Homer has the edge from the fellow. With on the outside, Ebony Jane putting it a run. So it's Mini Homer the inside of Ebony Jane as they cross the next one. And the fellow still swinging away. They go on now to the next now. It's number 20 coming up. And Ebony Jane is cruised into the lead. The one that's uh, very handy is Fiddler's Pike on the outside. Rosemary Henderson having a great ride round. Moorcroft Boy getting involved now. In behind those is Minnie Homer and the fellow. Into the red is not too far away. Uh, just so has made good headway also. They run down towards the one before Beaches Brook. And up front, Ebony Jane on the outside of Minnie Homer. As they take that, just so next. A slight mistake by Fiddler's Pike there. Uh, in behind those uh, then is Moorcroft Boy going well. A bad mistake in rear by Rock de Prance. There aren't too many left standing here. As they run down to the 22nd, it's Beaches Brook again. And Minnie Homer in the centre. On the outside, Fiddler's Pike is very handy. On the inside, just so. The fellow is almost down there, nodded on landing. Ebony Jane is very handy. As they run down towards the next then, and it's the one after Be Beaches, the Foynaven fence. And up front, we've got Ebony Jane on the outside of Minnie Homer. Just so next, the fellow starting to make mistakes now. Then Moorcroft Boy into the red. A gap to Russ never sleeps in Zeta's lad. Fiddler's Pike is losing ground now. As they head towards the canal turn, it's number 24. And up front is Ebony Jane and Minnie Homer. On the inside is uh, Just So. In behind those, the fellow has gone there. The fellow is a faller at the canal turn. In behind them, Moorcroft Boy getting closer. They run down to Valentine's Brook and it's just so on the inside of Minnie Homer. Then Ebony Jane third, Moorcroft Boy in fourth, ready to pick them up. In fifth is into the red and then a gap to Fiddler's Pike. On towards the 26th of 30 and it's just so on the inside of Minnie Homer. Ebony Jane on the outside, those are the leading three. They jump it clear then of Moorcroft Boy a mistake. Into the red, Fiddler's Pike, Russ never sleeps his next. And now they race towards the final open ditch in the Martell Grand National. Ebony Jane on the outside of Minnehoma. Just so on the near side as they take the final ditch. They are clear of Moorcroft Boy. In behind those into the red and Fiddler's Pike. And they're racing towards the third last now. Three in a line. Ebony Jane, Minnehoma and Just So. And uh, those three are clear of Moorcroft Boy, the favourites in fourth place. And it's Minnie Homer on the inside of Ebony Jane. Ebony Jane on the left. Minnie Homer running the rail is just so. Moorcroft Boy is close enough, if good enough. They're a long way clear of into the red. And Fiddler's Pike is still going. One of the very few brave horses to get go keep going. And they come down on this very long run towards the second last. And it's a group of four now comprising just so. Blue colours on the inside, pale sleeves on the outer, Ebony Jane, Minnie Homer is poised to challenge and Moorcroft Boy is closing in on them as they head down towards the second last. They're 15 lengths clear of Into the Red, who's starting to get closer though, they come down towards the second last. Just so, Minnie Homer, Ebony Jane, Moorcroft Boy and Into the Red for John White. They come down towards the second last and there are four horses in contention. Moorcroft Boy has hit the front now as they come down to the second last. Moorcroft Boy has it. Moorcroft Boy, Minnie Homer the inside. Ebony Jane and Just So and then into the red. But he's sitting still on Minnie Homer the inside of Moorcroft Boy. Adrian McGuire, Richard Dunwoody coming down towards the final fence. It's Moorcroft Boy and Minnie Homer. Moorcroft Boy a leap leads by two legs to Minnie Homer. Into the red is unseated at the last. It's Moorcroft Boy. But Minnie Homer is putting in a challenge. Minnie Homer's coming through on the inside of Moorcroft Boy. 
cutting it through. It's going like a good and very homer. Vinny Homer comes to take the ace again. On the outside, Just So is coming with a run. It's Vinny Homer. Here comes Just So. Vinny Homer. Just So. More Croft Boy. It's Vinny Homer. Just So. More Croft Boy. Vinny Homer by a length. Splitting up towards the line. Vinny Homer takes it. Vinny Homer. Just So. More Croft Boy. Ebony Jane. Fiddler's Pike. And the only other one to finish will be Rock de France, Zeta's lad falling at the last.